In this video, we're going to start talking about EVA, which stands for Economic Value Added. And any conversation about EVA starts with a simple concept we call productivity. Um, productivity is a really important topic in business, and so I want to take a moment just to talk about productivity because there's a lot going on in it that I think a lot of people don't fully understand the implications. So, let's talk about productivity. Um, what is it? Productivity, there's a couple of different metrics out there, productivity metrics, but they all come down to a simple concept. You take um, the amount of value created compared against the amount of assets it took to create that value. So it's the value created over the assets it took to create that value. So let's use an example. Let's say you have a company and you have a bunch of stuff. You have supplies, you have people, you have equipment, and you use all of these things to generate value or generate profit in their business. And so when you compare these things, that's how you determine your productivity. I mean, you can take all of these items, you can take your supplies, your people, your equipment, and you can turn it into a dollar value. And you can say, for a certain dollar amount of capital, I was able to generate a certain dollar amount of profit, or a certain dollar amount of value. And this is your productivity ratio the dollar of value divided by the dollar value of assets it took to create that value. So if you have a ratio of like uh, two to one, right, that's saying for every one dollar that came in, you were able to create two dollars in value. Um, and you, if you had a ratio of ten to one, that would mean for every one dollar that came in, you had ten dollars in value that you created. So, why is this important? Um, for every business, you want to know what your productivity is and whether or not your business is scalable. Because if it's scalable, then you can take your productivity factor and just flow more money through your business. For instance, if your business had a productivity of two to one, Right? For every $1 that comes in, $2 go out. Well, you could just flow more money through your business and for every dollar that comes in, you would generate $2. Um, this is a very oversimplistic example, but this is the, the general concept behind productivity. So if you, if you had a business, let's say, where you had, your business had $1 million in assets, and you generated $2 million in profits. And let's say you went out and you found an investor to invest another million dollars in your business. Well, if you know your productivity is two to one, well, now you're starting with $2 million in assets and you know it's gonna turn into $4 million. I hope you see how powerful this can be. The problem is, that the productivity factor is not found on your financial statements. You have to calculate it, which is what makes this so difficult. Um, your financial statements, you have, you'll have a balance sheet, which talks about your assets, and you'll have an income statement, which talks about your profit or loss. And on your income statement, at the bottom, you'll have a number called net income, right? And that's your profit. And net income is important to understand, but it doesn't really tell you your productivity. I mean, if you had a company where you had a million dollars in profit, is that good or bad? It's, it's kind of hard to say without context. And that's what we're looking for, is we're looking for the context. I mean, if we had two companies, company A and company B, 
and they both produce this million dollars of profit. It could be two very different stories, because um, let's say one company had uh, $500,000 in assets, and they generated a million dollars. Well, that would be a very a much different story than if, let's say, another company had a billion dollars in assets, and they managed to generate only a million dollars. If we compare that in terms of productivity, we see that the $500,000 business had a productivity factor of two to one, whereas the billion dollar business had a productivity factor of one one thousandth to one. They took a billion dollars and they put it into this business and they only generated a million dollars in value. That's a much, much different story. So, um, what productivity is really useful for and where it becomes very powerful is in this comparing businesses. Because when you understand the productivity, it gives you a way to look across the landscape and determine where are people creating value. And it's not just businesses. I mean, you can take this a step further and say, um, look at sectors. And you can look at a range of sectors and you can see which sector is really generating value. Which sector is taking capital in and making the most use of this capital. So we can take it even a step higher and we can look at countries. We can look at a country's productivity and see how well are, is capital being utilized in these countries. Um, now, a lot of people have difficulty thinking in terms of productivity. And my advice to you is to think like an owner. Think like an owner. Um, imagine for a moment that you had a billion dollars. Let's say you had a billion dollars in your pocket. What you would want to do is you would want to go and put your money to work somewhere for you. So it's generating a return on investment. And what you do is you would survey the landscape and you would look for areas of high productivity. Areas that would give you a high return on your investment. So let's bring back the example we had before where we had the two, co uh, the two companies. And you had the one company with $500,000 in assets and the other company with a billion dollars in assets. So the, the smaller company had a productivity ratio of two to one, and the larger company had a productivity ratio of one one thousandth to one. Now, here you are as the owner with a, a billion dollars, and you can take that billion dollars and invest it in this billion dollar company, but you're only gonna get a return on investment of a million dollars. Um, I, I could think of many other investment opportunities that are much lower risk than investing in a company that would give you a higher return than that. Um, but then you can also look at this other company over here, this $500,000 company, and you could potentially invest your billion dollars in growing this business and potentially double your money because you have a productivity factor of two. So you would invest your billion dollars and potentially come out with $2 billion. So, um, I, I love talking about productivity. I think it's so important, uh, not only to know the productivity of your business, but also your competitor's business. And not only that, but know what areas in your business you're going to focus on to improve your productivity into the future. I, I really want to get you guys to understand the significance of what we're talking about. We're talking about taking $1 and turning it into $2, or, or $4, or $5, or $10. We're talking about creating value. That's what productivity is all about, and that's what businesses do, and that's really cool. So, to recap, in this video we talked about productivity. 
and I gave a definition for what that is. We talked about why it's important. Um, we related productivity back to the financial statements and then talked about how it would be useful um, to use in comparing companies. Um, in the next video, we're going to continue talking about EVA. And EVA is a, sp a specific method to determine productivity for your business.